Hello Internet. I am still here. I'm still in existence. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded anything, so this video is basically a thank you because if you're watching this, you are still subscribed to me. So <laughs> thanks for sticking around. Uh, you know, I've had a few things going on in the real world. I've not really played Pokemon too much, so um, this is going to be quite interesting for me, actually. So you know, let's throw some some Pokemon out. Let's do a few games. Let's let's have a video. Why not? Um, as you can see, this is a Lipid team um, with a Sun mode. Now this is extra interesting because we've got what looks like a bit of a Rain team. He doesn't really have any kind of Swift swimmers here, but I'm kind of expecting this Thunderous to have Rain Dance, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Even though he doesn't have any swift swimmers, obviously he's got three things that are weak to fire and do appreciate the, the rain. So I'm going to lead with Lipid and Thunderous here. I do quite like that lead here. And I want my Charizard in the back because of all of those uh, weaknesses. And Thunderous is potentially a little bit of a problem. Gardevoir is a bit annoying as well. Um, Brilliant doesn't really do too much especially with the overcoat on the uh, Escavali, so I'm going to take Heatran here as well. Okay, interesting. So, what I'm going to do this turn, because this is fake tears, because i got all of these special attackers now with the, uh, you know, the, the sun mode, I've got fake tears, which does work quite nicely, so I'm just going to target down this Thunderous. Like I was saying in the preview, Thunderous can be a little bit of a problem, so if I can just get rid of it, then that's brilliant. If he, you know, Mega Horns my Lipid or whatever, you know, great. I don't mind... <laughs> well, yeah, not great, obviously, but, <laughs> but... But I don't mind sacrificing my Lipid for that Thunderous, basically, because it means uh, my Charizard is now sitting quite nicely. I mean, his Vrizion probably has got Stone Edge on it, so that's something to be wary of. But, yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy now, because I can Mega Evolve, get the Sun up, Escavali isn't really threatening either of these. I mean, it can knock off, which would do a lot of damage. It wouldn't knock out Thunderous, though. So, what I'm going to do is, because Escavali isn't really a, a threat to anything, like, especially Heatran in the back, uh, I'm just going to go for uh, a Flamethrower on this Politoed and a Thunderbolt, just in case he wants to switch the Politoed out. But, no, there's no switching. Because, you know, if he wanted to bring his uh, Vrizion in or whatever, then I would be quite happy with that. Well, it's actually... It's really sunny outside, but it's raining as well. A strange weather. Okay. So, again, the Scavalier is not any kind of threat. If... Okay, so let's just try and think through this turn. If I if I protect and Thunderbolt his... And uh, Thunder Wave his Vrizion, he could predict that, protect it, and knock out my Thunderous with his, with his Escavalier, and then his Vrizion is threatening quite badly. Um, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to Thunder Wave it and Flamethrow the Escavalier, because if he does have Stone Edge, if he knocks the Charizard out, then at least I've still got Heatran, and he's got a paralyzed Vrizion, and I should still win. So thinking through this, or that happens as well. So this is, I mean, that turn, I mean, this has only been three turns, but that, that was a classic turn of, um, you know, throwing a game, basically. Uh, he is in the losing position. He needs to try and make some plays to, uh, you know, get back into the game. And, uh, you know, he could have, if I did protect with my Charizard, which is, like, probably everyone's kind of first instinct, you know, to, to do, to get the, the um, advantage with the uh, Thunder Wave and everything. But if, you know, like I said, if... If he'd protected with his Vrizion that knocked out my Thunderous, I would have had Charizard and um, Heatran against his Vrizion and Escavalier. Uh, I'm sure, I'm sure I would have still won, but uh, there's always, you know, it adds, you know, it adds a bit more risk into the game when I could have just played it really safe and uh, and not protected because I knew I had Heatran in the back. But let's uh, you know stop stop blabbling on and and get into something else. So we've got another Politoed, but this time we have got a Swift Swimmer. We've got a, uh, a Weavile as well. Weavile is maybe a bit of a problem for this, because it, it can outspeed everything here. And actually hit things very hard. So, yeah, this Weavile is 
may be an issue. See, I quite like Charizard here, but he was probably going to bring... He is probably going to bring his Salamence, because like a double edge will just, just knock it out, won't it? So, how shall we go about this? This is quite interesting. Breloom does do quite nicely here. So, I think a Breloom lead would make sense. Let's go Breloom and Charizard. Let's have Thunderous as well, because the Thunder Wave is always nice. And in the last slot, let's have Cresselia. Yeah, let's go this way. So he leads with the Weavile and the Salamence, as I thought he might. Yeah, so... Um, threatening. Salamence could have Dragon Dance. Could even have Tailwind, you never know. Um, protect from Brillum is obvious. Um, so so <laughs> it is from Charizard as well. So I'm definitely not in a very good position here. Definitely threatened right away. So this is, uh, I suppose, um, you know, a good illustration of a bad matchup. So this team, yeah, it, it, it's not a solid team. Like I think... Um, you know, I was maybe saying a little bit earlier, it's not a solid team that would take into a tournament or anything. So, let's just double protect it. I mean, maybe the Weavile has faint, you never know. Um, he's probably going to just see around this, though. Okay, no, maybe not. He, he hyper voices. Hmm, hyper voice. If he hyper voices again, then... His Weavile needs to target Brillum to stop it getting a Spore off. But if he does Hyper Voice, then Charizard can get a Tailwind off. So I'm just going to Spore this Salamence. And I'm going to go for a Tailwind. I think I will Mega Evolve. No, I'm not going to Mega Evolve. Just because he might have the Politoed in the back. Yeah, nice. So... Thinking around this, I've got the Tailwind off now, and his Salamence is asleep. So I don't know if this Politoed is scarfed or not, but Brillum will be faster. And maybe he will bring Ludicolo in, maybe that's his last Pokemon. Not too sure. But I am going to... Hmm, this is quite, quite an interesting sort of turn of events, really. Yeah, I mean, he's not going to want to bring his um, Ludicolo in on too many attacks, is he? The question is, if this Politoed isn't scarfed or anything, then it could just protect you and burn a, a turn away. So, I'm going to actually bring Cresselia in. I am going to Mega Evolve here. And just go for a... Just a Solar Beam. Just a safe Solar Beam on this Politoed. Let's not try and, you know, be a bit silly. Yeah, okay. I was tempted to go for a Flamethrower there, but at least a Solar Beam does a bit of damage to it. I'm going to Icy Wind here, and his Politoed switching is probably tempting him quite a bit, but I'm just going to flamethrow this Ludicolo. Yeah, so the Politoed switching does does happen. I'm, yeah, I'm not too worried about that, just because... Oh, it's got a Morangi Berry Politoed, that's quite interesting. Just because I've got a skill swap on this Cresselia. His Salamence wakes up though, unfortunately. He does knock Charizard out, but... I can skill swap this, uh, you know, skill swap the Charizard and and still be in a bit of a sticky situation. Um, yeah, I'm. See, so Brillum can threaten this Politoed, so I want to. Oh, I don't know. This is quite tricky, actually. I'm definitely skill swapping. And I'm just going to flamethrow this Salamence, just because that does put it in another Icy Wind range. Or, nice, or he can do that, and uh, let me flame flamethrower it. So the Charizard does go down, unfortunately. So does my Tailwind. But... Um, the Salamence doesn't have Intimidate anymore. anymore. Ludicolo can threaten with a Fake Out here. I'm going to put Thunderous in. He might switch out the Politoed for the Weavile, I'm expecting. So I'm going to Icy Wind here and Thunder Wave the Politoed. 
Because if he does bring the Weavile in, um, you know, he can only fake out one of these Pokemon. He fake outs none of them. <laughs> then I will get some kind of speed drop on it, basically. So, yeah, this is quite an interesting game. Um, is firing off Icy Winds back. So it's unfortunate that my Wind missed his Ludicolo there. But, uh, you know, what can you do? Yeah, okay. Hmm, so this is, uh, this is a situation where I wish my Cresselia had Moonlight. But I'm just going to Thunderbolt and Icy Wind again. Well, okay, so <laughs> I get the paralysis there, but... Uh, Okay, and Cresselli was still out, still faster than uh, Ludicolo, which is quite interesting. But, he yeah, ice wins again. And now he can bring in... Um, yeah, I think he's won this game, just because he can bring in uh, the Salamence, or it, it doesn't really matter what he brings in, because either of them just clean up the game for him. Yeah, I'm going to Icy Wind and Hidden Power Ice the Salamence. If it doesn't protect, then... It's, you know, not in a brilliant position. Although, with all of these drops on Microcellia, yeah, I think I think this game is lost. Or he can just do that as well. So, that was the, you know, the very safe move for him. Politoed, you know, full process might help out here. But, you know, he doesn't get that. It doesn't knock either of these out, though. But another n another life orb, basically, will knock, um, will knock Thingy out. So, I need to, um, you know, hope on... Uh, some paralysis is maybe, or maybe I could swagger. Yeah, let's go for swagger. There's more chance of them hitting themselves than getting full paralyzed. So uh, there's a swagger. <laughs> it hits itself as well. Okay, so the sun is still up, and I have got Brillium in the back. I just need to break this Weavile Sash. So I'm going to go for an Icy Wind, and... <laughs> And I'm going to go for a Thunder Wave on Weavile as well. So, you know, thanks to the, the power of Thunderous, I am clawing myself back into this game somewhat, but uh, I don't think this is a game that I am going to be winning. Yeah, no fake out from Weavile. But I'm probably losing. No, I'm not losing Thunderous here. I'm getting a few more rolls in my favour. So... <laughs> Ah, uh, this would be pretty funny. Um, yeah, I'm just going to bullet seed the Politoed and Thunderbolt the Weavile. I mean, Thunderous is going to knock itself out to its own life. Or No, let's not do that. Let's think this, Barry. So I'm going to bullet seed the Politoed and I'm going to swagger the Weavile because I don't want Thunderous to knock itself out with its life orb. So hopefully the Politoed goes down here. Yeah, it does. Hopefully he, he, he hits himself, but he doesn't. Ah, okay, so... Yeah, so he's definitely won now. Um, unless he hits himself, I need him to hit himself. And then I can knock him out. And then go down to my own life orb recoil. So I need him to hit himself, which he does. Wow. And I can... <laughs> and I can a Thunderbolt and knock it out. Okay, so... And the second game, this is a perfect illustration of, um, you know, thinking of... Of all of the odds, you know, thinking of what potentially could go in your favour to help you win the game. So that was a pretty crazy game, actually. Um, so, you know, let's, let's leave it there. You know, that's pretty fun. So, thanks for watching this, guys. Uh, again, you know, if you're watching this, and I'm presuming that you are subscribed. So, uh, you know, thanks for thanks for that, guys. It does, uh, you know, it does go appreciated. It doesn't, it doesn't go not appreciated. It is appreciated. Let's just use proper English words. It is appreciated. So thank you very much, guys, and goodbye for now.